18 point, I can't see it. <laughs> Back up. Evan took to scouting right away, but he didn't take to camping right away. There for a while, in the beginning, on a Friday afternoon before a camp out, Beth would call me at the office to tell me that Evan was in his room and didn't want to go. Luckily, Beth and I both knew that by the time Sunday rolled around, he would be telling us about what a great time he'd had. So there for a while, on a Friday afternoon before a camp out, Beth and I would sit down with Evan and have an inspirational talk. Now, <clears throat> the way I remember it, <laughs> it went something like this. 200 and some odd years ago, our forefathers were engaged in a great debate just prior to entering a revolutionary war. But before they did, they felt a need to answer an essential question. Why do we fight? Today, we seem to be engaged in a similar controversy. <laughs> Why do we camp? <laughs> Some say it's because that's what scouting is all about, because it's fun, because you can learn valuable skills that could someday save someone's life in an emergency or a survival situation. Well, this is, this is all very true, but I think map and compass and orienteering is probably a thing of the past. We, uh, if, you have a, if you have a GPS or a cell phone, you're not lost. Help is on the way. And I never could understand why I would have to hang my toilet paper roll on a rack made of sticks and lashings. So why do we camp? Every camp out seems to bring the same old questions. Where are we going? What are we going to do? Will it be interesting? Will it be fun? What's the weather going to be? I can tell you right now, the weather is going to be miserable. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's going to be cold. Freezing, snowing, sleeting, drizzling, raining, dark, damp, overcast, windy and raw, and hot and sunny and humid and sticky. <laughs> Sunday will be different. There's going to be mosquitoes and spiders and snakes and lions and briars and birds. Oh my. <laughs> and stickers and thorns and poison ivy, but you're going to have fun. <laughs> it's, going to be, it's going to be dangerous. You could slip on a wet rock, trip over a tree root, sprain your ankle, break a bone, cut yourself with a knife or ax, burn yourself with fire, or poke your eye out with a stick. <laughs> but you're going to have fun. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to go on this next camp out. I, I haven't been feeling well lately. I have, <clears throat> I have athlete's foot between my toes and a, and a blister on my heel. I have a trick knee and a bruise on my hip. I've got a stiff back and a pain in my neck, and my dandruff has been flaring up again. I'd like to go, but I've got places to go and people to see and things to do. I've got a ton of homework and, and a party to go to. I've got, I've got, to, I've got to shovel the snow and, and, and cut the grass and paint the house and take out the trash. I have to groom the garden and water the dog. Look, I'm busy. I'd like to go. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Why do we camp? On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and country and to obey the scout law. Point number one. 
to help other people at all times. Point number two, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. That's point number three. There are 12 points to the Scout Law. Be prepared is only two words. Yet these words have meaning, deep meaning. These words are not to be rattled off quickly. These words try to define something that is difficult to define, character. Scouting is about developing the character of a boy between the ages of 11 and 18. By the time a scout becomes eagle, he will know it's not about camping. It's not about what badges you've achieved or what rank you've earned or whether you're a boss or what you've learned. It's about what kind of person you'll become. It's about what our society will value in the future. Camping, camping is a great disguise. It's a trick, a tool designed to fool the foolish into thinking that they're having fun. <laughs> camping is a diabolical scheme to take you away from your mother. <laughs> and to show you, it's not all about you. Camping shows you that you can do things you thought were impossible, but, but, sometimes, you must do things that are unpleasant, uncomfortable, unpopular, unrewarded. You can do it. It takes a little skill, a little experience, a little knowledge, a little effort, and what very little you were born with. Camping teaches, I can, I must, I should, I will. As far as I'm concerned, <clears throat> scouting is not an option. Going to school is not an option. Going to the dentist is not an option. Eating your vegetables, Evan, is not an option. <coughs> Camping is not an option. These are essentials. So. Where are we going? What are we going to do? What's the weather going to be? It doesn't matter. Why do we camp? Well, it's because you're going to have fun. Just be there. Today, we are here to honor Evan on becoming an eagle because he knows what scouting is all about. <laughs>